All right, what's up everybody? Today, I'm gonna give you guys my number one trail cam tip that I guarantee you is gonna lead to some more success for you guys this season because trust me, I learned this the hard way. And I even came up with a little slogan for it and I want you guys to just ingrain this in your brain, tattoo it on your forehead, do whatever you gotta do to remember this. Do not screw up a future hunt to get pictures from the past. I'm gonna say that again. Do not screw up a future hunt to get pictures from the past. Let me explain what that means. All right, so what do I mean with my fancy new slogan? Basically, quit screwing up your best spots and your best hunting properties just to check these darn things. And trust me, I have done this a ton where I put this camera in an awesome spot. I'm super excited because I know I'm gonna get a bunch of buck pictures. By the time I go back there all antsy and jacked up just to see some pictures of bucks, I've already screwed up that spot. I've left scent, deer have keyed in on where I'm walking, how I'm entering and exiting, maybe they've seen me, and they're either nocturnal or they're gone. So unless you guys want just framed pictures of bucks in your living room and not actual shoulder mounts, you gotta stop checking these things so much and impacting the areas that you hunt. Now, there are a couple things that you can do if you need to check trail cameras. First one, just put them in low impact spots, spots that you can easily access, check them, and get out of there without disturbing the area a whole bunch. Some examples that I use, behind my house, there's a bunch of flooded timber. A lot of my cameras are right on the edge of that. I gotta wade through water that the deer normally don't walk through, swap the card, get out of there. As long as the wind's right, they, I, they don't know I was there. Uh, you could wade through a creek, put a camera right on a creek bank, something like that, something where there's water, areas where deer don't go and it's right on the edge. Those are easy ones to check. If you've gotta check one of these in kind of an area that you're like, man, I don't know if it's high impact or not, wait until the weather is just complete garbage. Go out there in high wind and rain or snow, sleet, stuff where the deer are gonna be bedded. I mean, as long as your camera's not in their bedding area, you can get in there and check it if the wind is right and you're not gonna be where deer are bedded in that crappy weather. Wait until the weather is complete garbage and do it. The other option is obviously a cell cam. If you're gonna bury a camera back in an area that you know is detrimental to your property if you access it, make that one a cell camera. Even a cheap cell camera, even one that people claim is not that reliable, that moderately reliable data is better than you going back there and screwing things up, just walking through there one time. So cell cams, definitely an option. Another good option for non-cellular cameras is just put them on your entry and exit route to or from your hunting location or right at your hunting location. Make it so it's easy to check. You're not going out of your way any different than if that camera wasn't there. Somewhere along the route or right by your tree stand that's easy to check. Don't put it like 20 or 30 yards in front of your stand where you've got to walk across a deer trail or walk where the deer might be coming through either while you're on the stand or days after or at night or anything like that. Don't leave extra scent on the ground if you're gonna put it by your stand or along your entry and exit route. Just put it right on it so it's easy to check, low impact, it's no different than if that camera wasn't there and you were just going in for a hunt. And food sources. Make sure you're not walking through or walking right up to your food plot or your bait pile or something like that. Get it back off the edge a little bit. Maybe you gotta get it higher to capture what you want. Somewhere where you are not gonna be walking exactly where deer are gonna be eating or where they're gonna be coming to and from that food source. And if there's no locations where you can check a food source with a non-cellular camera, then make it a cellular camera. The other thing is just leave these things out there. Don't check them until the end of the year. Bury this sucker back in a bedding area, back in a high impact spot, and don't touch it until the end of the year, and then use that data for next year. Figure out what an undisturbed area looks like for the deer, how they move through it, when they're moving through it, what the weather's like, what the moon phase is like, and apply that for that property for the next season. Trust me, you guys, I have screwed up my property behind my house for five years doing bad trail camera checks, bad trail camera placements, checking them too much, bad stand locations, all that stuff. My property was complete garbage until last year, until I started being smart with these and smart with my stands, and it made an absolute world of difference for me. And I guarantee you, if you're smarter with these and smarter how you hunt, you will definitely see more deer and definitely have better opportunities at bucks. So please, take it from me, don't screw up a future hunt just to get pictures from the past.
Thank you guys. I hope that helps you this season and thank you for tuning in. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.